Hello. Hello, this is the Tech Savvy Science teacher here. And on today's tip, I'm going to show you how to take a list of names and separate them out and then go from a separate list and to combine them again. So really easy to separate the lists. So if you have your list of names, you want to click up here where it says data. So you might normally be on a home page, a uh, home screen here. So you're going to click on data. Then you're going to highlight the names that you want and simply click text to columns. So this will allow you to separate it out. So you want to choose this top one because then you can say that they're separated by a space. You're going to say there's a space separating the first and the last name. And it's saying just making sure this is this and then it's saying where do you want it to go. So you usually just leave it as is and I click finish and there you have it. So now let's take it the reverse. Let's say you have these two lists and you need to combine them back again. So you're going to type in this code. So all I did here was click on the cell and then I came up top here to enter the formula. You're going to type in equal sign. Then you're going to click on the first thing that you want, which is in this case I want A1. Then I'm going to say and, and I want a space between them. So I'm going to put quotes, space, quotes, and click on the cell that you want, and then press enter. And you see now it's combined them. And what I can do is if I click back here and I grab that little corner so you can see how it went from kind of a white plus nine to a black plus sign. So once I have that, I can drag this all the way down and it does it for all of them. Let's say you want the reverse. Maybe you need it last name comma first name. It's the same idea that you did here, but we're just going to click on the cells in a different order. So again, equal, and I'm click on the last name, and, and this time I want a comma, and so I'm going to hit quote, comma, and maybe I also want a space. I want a comma space, then I quote, and, and now I'm going to click on the first, and enter, and now I have last comma first. Again, I can click on this top cell, wait for the plus sign to become a black plus sign, drag it down, and you have that. So I hope these tips are helpful for you. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel or just simply like this page or like this video if this was good. Thanks so much.